Good evening. Welcome parents, family, faculty, and friends to the 60th commencement exercises of Frontier Regional. Welcome Cynthia Wilmette, Chairperson of the Frontier School Committee. Welcome Superintendent Lynn Carey. And for the last time, welcome the class of 2017 as students. Tonight we will award diplomas and celebrate. You'll hear some interesting messages from your speakers that will make you reflect and be inspired, I hope, to leave Frontier and do wonderful things. This is an evening about 2017, so while, without further ado, I'd like to welcome Superintendent Dr. Lynn Carey to give a welcome address. Good evening. What a night. This is a beautiful evening, and I'm so proud to be here. It is my honor to represent all the teachers and staff of Frontier Regional and Union 38 schools who, along with your parents, have had a part in your success on this wonderful journey. They have loved you, taught you, and prepared you for this passage. This is an important moment in your life. Enjoy every minute of this time in your life. And remember, Frontier Regional will always be your home wherever you go in this world. And as Dr. Seuss says, oh, the places you will go. Thank you. Kylie Burns and Mohai Yildiz, please come forward to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Hey, um, the flag is that way. I'd ask you to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. I know I said it wrong, sorry. <laughs> I now would like to introduce Tenzin Seydan, our senior class president, for her commencement address. Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches, bonsoir, dobre viatur, and tashi delik. Luckily, the weather has aligned with our wishes, so the sun and I bid you all a warm welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2017. We made it! We're at last at the crest, the top of our journey, 
the catharsis of our literature. We were tireless, we were resolute, and hence we prevailed. Franklin Roosevelt once expressed that happiness, true happiness, lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of um, creative effort. Well, we're officially there. We are at the peak of this happiness, caught up in a bittersweet circumstance where we embrace our joy of achievement while saying uh, goodbye to the thrill of creative effort we all experience in high school. We stand together at the apex of this hill, the pinnacle, with our friends, our family, and frontier by our side. Our view from the apex when we look back is full of blurred yet comforting memories of our recently departed adolescence. And the view when we look forward is a mirage of beautiful yet chilling summits of mountains in sync with a demanding horizon, uh, symbolic of our future um, achievements of our adult life. When I went to write this speech, the, one of the first thoughts that came to me was, um, should, I, should my focal voice be of someone in the past reminiscing about our history together or a voice that is based in the future um, talking about the opportunities and uh, success stories. Talking about the past only felt painful, like emphasizing a separation from a par part of our lives that we could never get back in which protective bubbles nurtured us. Bubbles, not with a negative connotation, but the ones that our parents and the school create to prepare us for the real life, the real world. Talking about the future only seemed detached and amiss of something pivotal. I, in that moment, I was very conflicted. And that is when it hit me. What really mattered, what really matters is the present, the now. At this moment, at this time, right now, under the reassuring sky of Western Massachusetts, and in this comforting yet familial air, we are all together. Together with each other, our family members, and frontier. This is what matters because a time like this won't come again. All of us at this peak, in the present, each one of us representing our past and carrying our respective future potentials with the people, the school, and our family who made it possible for us to make it to this point is what should have the utmost significance. I look at all of you now and I think I have so much love for every single one of you. Um, when I first came to Frontier, a, a new language for me always carried a scary connotation. It was a barrier, something I had to beat. But with you guys and with Frontier, I learned that a new language meant hope. Hope for a connection that is everlasting and hope for a love that is unmeasurable. I learned the essence of friendship and experienced the beautiful beauty of a well-knit camaraderie. The teachers at Frontier, the faculty, Mr. Modesto, Mr. Dredge, Mr. Fatal. I think back to what they taught us, what they taught me, the value of perseverance, of courage in face of crisis, of compassion, of intellectual honesty, and of righteousness in pursuit of excellence. I even think back to the times when we received some tough love. And I always ask myself, how did we get so lucky to have so many people care about us like that? To have role models who show strength when we need it the most. To have teachers to educate in character and life and to provide tools with sincere hope that we become good people in the future. It baffles me the amount of fortune that we have. Our parents, the other side of this baffling fortune. Our parents are the people with so much heart and love and patience. The people worthy of the highest of all respect. The people whose morals we hope to adopt. The people who are selfless with a fierce kindness and sincere warmth. The people whose devotion to us serve as our motivation to succeed in the future. Yes, we have the goals that we have today because of you guys. To conclude, class of 2017, each and every one of you are deserving of the amazing future that is coming towards you all. Let's leave here tonight with promises. Promises to our school, promises to each other, and promises to our loved ones. Let us promise not to abandon the virtues and morals that our parents and frontier hoped for us to take in. Let us promise to spread empathy and love in this bleak world of the current times. 
Let us promise to pursue excellence no matter what field that we go in. Let us promise not to forget our history and our background whilst intermingling with a diverse outside world. Let us promise not to lose ourselves and prevail in every situation with strength. And finally, let us promise to save a small space in our heart for Frontier and for our class. Thank you. Please welcome Ian Newman, our National Honor Society representative, for his commencement address. Hello. <laughs> On September 4th, 2010, our first day of middle school, I don't believe any of us could imagine arriving here today. Sitting here after six years of hard work, I invite the class of 2017 to travel back with me. Around you tonight are friends, family, and mentors. We would not be the same without them, and the sad part is this is our last chance to let many of them know how profound an impact they've had on our lives. To your right may sit your friends since kindergarten or even earlier. To your left may be a friend that you met sixth grade dance when jumping was a synonym for dancing. I want you to think back to the good times in middle school. There should be a couple. Track back to the rainy DC and Gettysburg trips. Taste all the Western Mass Championship medals won since then, and the fire is still burning within you to win more, with your team. The sad thing is that these times have passed. Then high school seemed to race at many points. We were all running towards a common goal, graduation. The finish was more than that, though. It was greater maturity. But ironically, now that we've made it, there are many parts of the race we wish we could go back to. No matter how you cut it, our time in school has been a positive thing. Whether you think the positive is the friendships you've forged or the time that teachers and mentors have poured into you from their own lives. What Frontier has given us is beautifully summed up by Herman Hesse and Siddhartha. I should no longer be instructed by the Yoga Veda or the Aharva Veda or the ascetics or any other doctrine whatsoever. I shall learn from myself, be a pupil of myself. I shall get to know myself, the mystery of Siddhartha. From our teachers, we learned what they could teach us, but also what they cannot. Who we are is one thing they cannot teach us, and for that, the learning comes from within. Look out from the stage classmates and see the faces of your family. They, more than anyone else, have invested much time and effort in you. But after this summer, many of you will leave their nests for the wide world beyond. This coming of age story has reached its peak, and now it's time for you to set your own sail. This is a moment to accelerate learning who you are. So that's why I ask, no, I implore you to take a glance at the bigger picture tonight. This night is the ceremony for one of the biggest moments of your life, becoming an adult, or at least an approximate adult. But before leaving your child behind, thank those who are part of the race, handing you water along the route and cheering you on to greater heights. Hold on tightly to those who have brought you this far. Teachers, friends, and family, thank you so much for all you've done to support us through this all. And I'd, I'd like to give them a hand. And now I return my attention to the class of 2017. Please join me in congratulating this class for an amazing four years and an auspicious many more to come. I'm now gonna invite Assistant Principal Scott Dredge to come up with me to hand out the scholarship awards. I'd like to take a moment to talk about these scholarships. These scholarships mean more than the $100,000 or so behind them. It's about what the community is giving back. And it's what the fabric of this community is all about. The names on many of these scholarships represent someone or a family or a community organization that is giving back. I asked the graduates to learn one final lesson when they're handed these scholarships. When you have the ability to give back to your community, do so. These scholarships are in no particular order. Seniors, when I call your name, please come forward to accept them. Elaine LaBarbera, please come forward. Elaine will be receiving the John Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Deerfield Lions Club Memorial Award, the Deerfield Recreation Department Scholarship, the South Deerfield Women's Club Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Wilcox Ware Scholarship. Sam Schechterly, please come forward. Sam will, Sam will be receiving the Nancy Oshevsky Memorial Award, 
in the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Yeah. Michelle Vassar, please come forward. Michelle will be receiving the John Abiel Adams Scholarship and the Rotary Club of Franklin County, Massachusetts Scholarship. Adam Coffin, please come forward. Adam will be receiving the Charles A. Pylock Memorial Award. That's Pylock, excuse me. Sarah Munir, please come forward. Sarah will be receiving the Deerfield Recreation Department Scholarship, the Daniel Gilmore Memorial Scholarship, the South Deerfield Women's Club Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Keith Rowley, please come forward. Keith will be receiving the Fred Wells Scholarship and the Wilcox Ware Scholarship. Alexis Ackerman, please come forward. Alexis will be receiving the Lori Ann Richards Memorial Award and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Trevor Gilmore, please come forward. Trevor will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Sergeant Gregory Blanger Memorial Award, the Big Y Scholarship, the William K. Decker Memorial Award, the Don Maynard Memorial Scholarship, the IABO Board 28 William Casey Scholarship, and the Fred Wells Scholarship. Yeah. Rosemary Kosky, please come forward. Rosemary will be receiving the Barbara Banis Memorial Award. Keaton Warren, please come forward. Keaton will be receiving the John F. Skrosky Memorial Scholarship. Emily Dean, please come forward. Emily will be receiving the Straw Dog Writers Guild Scholarship and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Joseph Gigello, please come forward. Joe will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Samara Nelson, please come forward. Samara is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Charles Mark Foreign Language Scholarship, and the Fred Wells Scholarship. Tyler Picking, please come forward. Tyler will be receiving the Michael R. Skibiski Memorial Award. <laughs> Lauren Adams, please come forward. Lauren will be receiving tonight the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Big Y Scholarship, the Deerfield Chapter Future Farmers of America Award, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Miles Freeman, come forward, please. Miles will be receiving the Margaret Parsons Memorial Award. Ashley Park Borkowski, please come forward. Ashley will be receiving the FRS Teachers Association William Steinecki Memorial Award, the Polish American Citizens Club Award, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Know anyone? <laughs> Jace Matrician, come forward, please. 
Jace will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Kathy Mosier Memorial Award. Nate Alber, come forward, please. Nate is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Cade Gwanter. Cade is receiving the Deerfield Lions Club Memorial Award. Taryn Jacques, please come forward. Taryn is receiving the Hadley Polish American Citizens Club Stanley Paulson Memorial Scholarship, the David L. Scott Memorial Scholarship, the Sunderland Women's Club Kimberly Zuski Community Service Award, and the Waitley Grange Award. Camille Ali, please come up. Camille is receiving the Jeffrey C. Bednarski Memorial Scholarship. Liam Fala. Liam is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Conway Festival of the Hills Award, the Friends of the Field Memorial Library Award, and the Fred Wells Scholarship. Jaina Rubin, please come forward. Jaina is receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Thank you. Tori Bowen will be receiving the John T. Frigard Memorial Award. Zachary Pelk, please come forward. Zach will be receiving the Mary Ryan Memorial Scholarship and the Waitley Policemen's Association Award. Maggie Glenowitz, please come forward. Maggie's going to be receiving the Frontier Community Enrichment Les Thomas Award and the Polish American Citizens Club Award. See why we take turns. Jonathan Delaney, please come forward. <laughs> JB will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Albert Hearing Scholarship, the Daniel Gilmore Memorial Scholarship, the Caleb Charles Kinney Memorial Scholarship, the David L. Scott Memorial Scholarship, the VFW Post 3295 Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle, Skip Candle Scholarship. <laughs> It's a heavy envelope. Tenzin Sedan, please come forward. <laughs> Tenzin will receive the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Big Y Scholarship, the Charles Mark Foreign Language Scholarship, the Union 38 Teachers Association Scholarship, and the Daniel Zinn Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Daniel Bronke, please come forward. Dan will be receiving the John Abbey Adams Scholarship and the Hangar Pub and Grill Amherst Brewing Scholarship. <laughs> Jenna Rawlings, please come forward. Jenna will be receiving the Wilcox Ware Scholarship. Aaron Dorshow, please come forward. Aaron's receiving the John and Abby Adams Scholarship, the Sergeant Gregory Belanger Memorial Award, the FRS Character and Athletics Award, the Sunderland Men's Club George Pomeroy Award, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Riley Sharp, come forward. 
proud to be receiving the John M. Gill Adams Scholarship, the South Deerfield Rotary Scholarship, those two scholarships. <laughs> Scott Peelis, please come forward. Scott will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the George E. Bell Jr. and Luis Bell Memorial Scholarship, the Daniel Gilmore Memorial Scholarship, and the Holyoke the Mount Holyoke Lodge Scholarship. <laughs> Eliza Smaris, please come forward. <laughs> Eliza will be receiving the John Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Hale Clapp Post 3295 VFW Scholarship Award. <laughs> Riley Sampson, please come forward. Riley receiving the Greenfield Lodge of Elks 1296 Scholarship, the Recorder Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> Kylie Burns, please come forward. <laughs> Kylie receiving the John Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Fred Wells Scholarship. Patrick Thompson, come on down. Patrick will be receiving the John and Gilbert Adams Scholarship and the VFW Post 3295 Scholarship. And Olivia Warren, please come forward. Olivia is receiving the Fred Wells Scholarship and the Wilcox Ware Scholarship. Morgan Farrick, please come forward. Morgan's going to be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Polish American Citizens Club Award, the South Deerfields Women's Club Award, and the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Okay. Billy Prunier, come forward, please. Billy's going to be receiving the Stephen and Martha H. Barrett Scholarship, the William K. Decker Memorial Award, the FRS Teachers Association Stephen Sinecki Memorial Award, the Polish American Citizens Club Award, the Union 38 Teachers Association Patricia A. Gamlin Award, and the Fred Well Scholarship. <laughs> Olivia Denkevitz, please come forward. <laughs> Olivia will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Deerfield Recreation Department Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, the Yankee Candle Scholarship, and the Jeannie Brzezowski Zarimba Memorial Award. Ryan Olmstead, please come forward. Ryan will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Sergeant Gregory Belanger Memorial Award, the Conway Festival of the Hills Award, and Caleb Charles Kinney Memorial Scholarship, Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Wilcox Ware Scholarship. <laughs> Ashley Lavasser, please come forward. <laughs> Ashley will be receiving the Hell Clap Post 3295 VFW Scholarship. Elena Diaz, please come forward. <laughs> Elena is receiving the Sergeant Gregory Blanger Memorial Award, the Daniel Gilmore Memorial Scholarship, the David L. Scott Memorial Scholarship, the Fred Wells Scholarship, the, Wait the Waitley PTO Award, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> Mujahid Yildiz, please come forward. 
Mujahid is receiving the Jeffrey C. Bernarski Memorial Scholarship. Kara Felton, please come forward. Kara is receiving the Daniel Gilmore Memorial Scholarship. Luke Parsons, please come forward. Luke is receiving the Timothy Patrick Merritt Scholarship. Leanne Hine, please come forward. Leanne is receiving the Greg Bilski Memorial Award. Ian Newman, please come forward. Ian is receiving the John Abigail Adams Scholarship, the Conway Festival of the Hills, the Frontier Regional School Committee Award, the Alice Spinner Award for Excellence in English, and the Fred Wells Scholarship. Sidebar. That's that. It's your second page that you must have skipped. Oh. Okay. So we'll go back. We'll go back. All right. We're on this. Lisa Portier, please come forward. Yeah. Lisa is receiving the John Abigail Adams Scholarship, the John F. Skrosky Memorial Scholarship, the Sun and Women's Club Francis M. C. Francis M. Clark Fine Arts Award, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Kyle Spencer, please come forward. <laughs> Kyle's receiving the Deerfield Police Relief Association Walter Decision Memorial Award, the Daniel Gilmore Memorial Scholarship, the Polish American Citizens Club Award, the Fred Wells Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. <laughs> Morgan Fuller, please come forward. Morgan's receiving the Mary Stewart Rogers Foundation Scholarship. Celia Speth, please come forward. Celia is receiving the Marshall Anstrom Memorial Scholarship, the Albert Hearing Scholarship, the Ann S. Barclay Scholarship Award, the Franklin First, First Federal Credit Union, the FRS Teachers Association Edna BT Award, the Vi Goodnow Memorial Award, the Anthony Reynolds Senior Memorial Scholarship, and the Yankee Candle Scholarship. Kyle Compton Birch, please come forward. Kyle will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the Roger Dean Scudder Memorial Scholarship. Jill Salinas will be receiving the Matthew Herman Scholarship. Please come forward. Ben Lowe, please come forward. Ben will be receiving the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship and the John F. Skrosky Memorial Award. Jamie Byrne, please come forward. Jamie will be receiving the Fred Wells Scholarship. Seth Gwanter, please come forward. Seth will be receiving the Deerfields Lions Club Memorial Award in the Myron Rock Rokozak Memorial Award. <laughs> Hannah LeClaire, please come forward. <laughs> Hannah will be receiving the Sunderland Men's Club Lillian Dill Award, the Sunderland Volunteer Firemen's Association Award, and the Women of the Moose Chapter 316 Scholarship. <laughs> Melissa Shaw, please come forward. Melissa will be receiving the Conway Festival of the Hills Award. Yeah. 
And the last scholarship of the evening is Dalton DeForest. Please come forward. <laughs> Dalton will be receiving the Beat Fog Nozzle Hockey Scholarship. On behalf of Frontier Regional and the class of 2017, I would like to thank the Frontier community for your generous support of our students. 77 community groups and scholarship committees and organization gave 173 scholarships this evening to 62 of our seniors, telling $96,000. So just a round of applause to thank you for all those. <laughs> and now I'd like to welcome Tori Bowen to introduce our commencement speaker. So welcome. <laughs> um, this year, our class has the privilege to be uh, joined by a commencement speaker who has impacted many of my classmates in more than one way. Our commencement speaker was principal of Deerfield Elementary School for 18 and a half years, allowing many of our Deerfield students to have him as a mentor while they themselves were in elementary school. Some of his academic achievements include attending the Westfield State Teaching Program, obtaining his master's in administration from Boston State University, and entering the doctoral program at UMass Amherst. Although his principal days are over, he continues to be a strong pillar in our community. One way he shows this is by organizing the flagging of the graves and streets every year for Memorial Day weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in introducing our 2017 commencement speaker, Douglas Butman Tierney. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your warm and kind welcome. And as I hear about all these students, boy, am I getting old. I'm getting old. But I'm growing in pride. I say that in advance. So to members of the Frontier School Committee, Principal Modesto, Assistant Principal Dredge, Frontier faculty, parents, family, invited guests, and most important, you, the Frontier Class of 2017. It is indeed an honor and a privilege for me to be with you this evening. It's so nice for me to be back home, where I had so many years of rewarding experience at Deerfield Elementary School. And as I see your faces, and boy, have you grown up, and my eyes haven't really kept up with it, I'm extremely honored to be invited and to be with you. As I begin my comments this evening for the 2017, class of 2017, uh, I bring congratulatory wishes to you from the Frontier Regional class of 1967. Yes. 50 years ago, they held their graduation ceremony in Veterans Memorial Gymnasium. As you and your family celebrate your high school graduation, many graduates of the class of 67 are watching you via v YouTube. You will be at the catalyst for their conversations this evening as they are relaxing in someone else's house watching you. So much has changed in the 50 years, the buildings, the faculty, the high stakes testing, the increased graduation requirements and the use of technology. Say. Did technology exist 50 years ago? I don't think so. Despite these changes, what will last a lifetime in your minds and your hearts, and with all Frontier alumni, are the stories of family, friends, classmates, teammates, and students forged during your time in school? Your elementary and middle school years may be a source for some of what you'll never forget, yet a preponderance of these memories happened most recently while you attended Frontier. Some will fill you with laughter, others with pride for meeting and overcoming an obstacle or a difficult challenge. Moments of joy or sorrow will perhaps be springboards of tears. These memories will last a lifetime. 
They will be a source which connects each of you, especially in this age of social media. They'll connect you forever. What moments and people have you already placed in your library of memories? Today and in the days ahead will be additional opportunities for you to add to that library. As you moved from elementary school through middle school and into high school, your educational journey took various twists and turns. Some of you moved uneventfully through the process, while others may have struggles along the way. Regardless of your twists and turns, you all made it and are here to celebrate your many accomplishments with family, faculty, and friends this evening. So what does the future hold for each of you? This question can only be answered by you. Becoming an educated person is not something handed to you, but rather something you seek out and earn for yourself. While we might be provided resources to read, review, study, or respond to, what we actually gain from any experience is very dependent upon our attitude and actions. Information only becomes knowledge when it impacts what we believe or how we behave. This train's gonna go, isn't it? A little sidebar. We, we open up the brand new Deerfield Elementary School. We have 100% insurance that the train will never go by during dismissal. We open the school on January 4th, 1993, and we're at 2.45, that train comes by. Thank God I'm here, I can see it again. So, I'd like to share with you two personal experiences I had when I was growing up, I think they relate to today. I didn't realize then the significance of how these experiences would enrich my life and my professional work as school principal. The first experience was when I was in high school some 53 years ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm that old. It was November during my sophomore year of high school. I was in a sense an auto pilot. I was cruising through the year. Even now, I, I don't remember much of what transpired in or out of school. I was a pretty average student doing pretty average work. I enjoyed school as it gave me many social opportunities to connect with males and females. I might also add that nothing was more important to me than playing basketball. Nothing. In November, boys interested in trying out for the junior varsity or varsity basketball teams would begin meeting in the gymnasium after school to play pickup games under the watchful eye of the new head coach and English teacher from, who played basketball at the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester. His roommate was Tommy Heinsohn from Boston Celtics fame. Great, I thought, this is fantastic. Somebody loves basketball. I love basketball. Each school day, my routine would be this, to listen for the dismissal bell to ring, run to the locker room, change my clothes, and get ready to impress the coach. I thought that was a good job to do in high school. One particular day, things were different. It began in a typical manner of coach blowing his whistle and then having the players gather around him. Yet something was wrong. His body language in his walk and his face turned down suggested something just wasn't right. As he approached us, it was clear tears were in his eyes. He then addressed us directly and he said, boys, we cannot practice today something tragic happened in our country. Some things are more important than sports. So you must go home. Go home? Who? No basketball? I was numb. And as coach 
and coach was crying. I had never seen a grown man cry. Holy smokes. As I slowly walked back to my house two miles away, I kept thinking of what had just happened. Coach Prohovich had said some things are more important than sports. You see, the date was November 22nd, 1963. President John F. Kennedy had been shot and killed in Dallas, Texas. Though the high school principal had made the announcement of JFK's shooting, I wasn't listening. For 53 years, I have never forgotten what Coach Prohovich said that afternoon. Thanks to him, the lesson I learned that day has always helped me place my personal priorities in order. The second experience I'd like to share occurred my junior year in college. My course of studies would lead me to a degree in elementary education to become a teacher. Well, I wanted to expand my horizons, to stretch and to, out of my comfort zone. So I got involved in college theater. I, I, I know, I'm a real character. I, I, I know, I, I get that. The short story is that the athletic director pulled my financial aid because I refused both of his demands. One, to remove myself from the theater program. And two, not to socialize with students in the theater production. I'll be polite. Uh, I was upset. I was ripped. I was irate. I then decided that I would continue to be part of the play of You from the Bridge. For my experience, acting in that play far exceeded anything I had in my wildest dreams. I was challenged to be someone I was not. At first frightened by being on stage, I soon recognized the power and the impact arts programs had, particularly drama and music have on people. Broadway. Equally important though, I learned so much about myself. Such important communication skills as body language and tone of voice, all skills I would use later as teacher, parent, and principal. Fast forward to my work as an educator. As a teacher in the 70s, I used every opportunity I had to couple the study of history with plays, music, or visual arts, rather than simply use a textbook. Students in my class studied the American Revolution by producing pieces of the play 1776. And in the 80s, students generated multimedia presentations of drawings uh, which interpreted songs or poems they selected. As principal in Deerfield, I had the good fortune to assist some amazing educators who also championed experiences for our elementary students. A crowning moment for me was the institution of an annual arts festival day, an entire day devoted to the arts, held in June, which brought students, adults, and the community together in celebration of the arts. In one celebration, I dressed in a Royal Canadian Mounted Police uniform and I assumed the role of Private Preston, grandson to Sergeant Preston, a TV character on television. I wanted to model for everyone, especially young males, the fun and reward arts could offer them. Who knew that my passion for arts experiences in schools was born 25 years earlier through that college experience. As you embark on new adventures and experiences, I ask you to consider that, that which, I ask you to consider that which may be initially painful and difficult could one day become a source for things far more rewarding. Put succinctly, 
You can never learn less. I want to give a shout out to the front, to Frontier for your consistent quality work in the arts, especially music, and especially a special recognition to the students and faculty who, vow, who wowed the community with this year's production of Guys and Dolls. May such efforts continue to be recognized and rewarded as an integral learning component for all schools and students. Frontier has prepared you well. Don't let anyone convince you that a small rural school cannot match what other big high schools have to offer. You certainly are capable students being educated in Massachusetts, a state which consistently ranks amongst the highest in the country in student performance. The ensuing months and years will require two thoughtful considerations from you. What is your passion? And do you have the requisite skills to perform the tasks within that passion? So be assertive. Do not be passive in investing in yourself. Most of, the, most of you will work a minimum of 40 years or more, quadruple the number of years you spent in school. If you didn't like your 12 years of school, just imagine getting up every day for 40 plus years to a job that you dislike. Don't leave your choice of a career or careers to chance. Make personal time to search out and identify that which you are passionate about. Could be construction, military, performing arts, science, sports, medicine, engineering, medicine, plumbing, electronics, education, the list is forever. If you have a passion for something, you will love being involved in that passion every day. I say with much enthusiasm, I enjoyed my career in education. And I loved my work as principal at Deerfield Elementary School. It was extremely rewarding, inspiring, and energizing for me. While some days seemed cluttered with severe thunderstorms of issues, most days were sources of a reward, inspiration, and pride. And in many cases, you, the students, were the source of that, those days. So what activities capture your imagination and energy? This may not be apparent to you right now. Consider the time tonight after tonight's graduation as the beginning of a new investment policy in yourself, your future happiness and well-being. There will be people which leads you to encouraging and positive experiences. Do your homework and learn from the best. You will also be presented with complex, challenging, even frustrating tasks and people. Such difficult moments offer us opportunities to improve often more frequently than when we experience success. A reminder, attitude, is a choice. As exciting as tonight is for all of you, there will be some trepidation about what lies ahead. Believe in yourself. Trust in the values and advice you've received from loving parents, family, and respected faculty. Remember, you are well prepared to meet these new challenges. Every graduate here has the ability to do great things as long as you make that commitment and you never give up and you never give in. So here's kind of a quick list of checklists for success. Identify your passion, learn the skills, never stop learning, ever. Never give up, attitude is everything. More importantly, attitude is a choice you make. And then remember the people who have helped you grow and succeed. I am proud of you, your families, school, your communities are also proud. 
Go forward into the world and find that career that will make you happy, successful, and beneficial for, to society. Your diploma is an important initial step in making a difference in the world. In closing, I share a statement I heard over a decade ago. This statement has buoyed my spirits many times. You learn that you can influence the world by what you do today, right here, right now. To the class of 2017, congratulations. Go forward and make a difference. Thank you. I think it's that time. I'm now going to introduce Mr. David Fatel, the class advisor. <laughs> we'll be reading the diplomas. Give some instructions, right? Yep. Welcome, Frontier community. Thanks for everyone coming for this great occasion. We are now ready to grant diplomas to our class of 2017. But here's how it's going to work. Our class marshal will ask one row at a time to rise and proceed to the stage. The class is set up tonight alphabetically, so everyone can anticipate when a student will be coming up. Family members and friends can come on up and take pictures. And please note that each student will pause right around here ever so briefly for you to get a good shot before they return to their seat. So here we go, Frontier students. Alexis Nicole Ackerman. Lauren Mackenzie Adams. Tatiana Agapov. Nathan Richard Alber. Camille Eva Alley. Annette Baker. Ewan Nunn Bennett. Ashley Elizabeth Borkowski. Tori Michaela Bowen. Daniel Thomas Bronke. <laughs> Kylie Rose Burns.
Jamie Bastone Byrne. <laughs> Never had so many hugs in my life. Adam L. Coffin. Kyle W. Compton Birch. <laughs> Daquan Crafts. Noah James Darouge. <laughs> Emily Lauren Dean. <laughs> Dalton Gordon DeForest. Jonathan Bailey Delaney. <laughs> Olivia Elizabeth Dankowitz. <laughs> Eliza Marie Damaris. Helena Maria Diaz. Thank you. Thank you. Don't call the next person. We're going to all take a selfie. <laughs> Aaron James Dorshow. David James S. <laughs> Liam D. Fowler. Thanks, Rachel. Morgan Ann Farrick. Kara Elizabeth Felton. Miles Ryan Freeman. Morgan Lynn Fuller. Maxwell John Gagnon. Alex Gordet.
Cade B. Gawanta. Seth C. Gawanta. Sharav Gail. Thank you. Trevor Gilmore. Margaret Ann Glenowitz. <laughs> Lily Brianne Haley. <laughs> Leanne Nicole Heim. Abby Gail Higgins. <laughs> Taryn E. Jock. Joseph W. Gigello. <laughs> Kelsey and Cassis. Sabrina May Kidder. Bring it in, Fatal. Rosemary Tyne Koski. Elaine Y. LaBarbera. <laughs> Hannah R. LeClaire. <laughs> Ashley Rose Levasseur. Benjamin Brooke Fenwick Low. <laughs> Jace Matrison. Jordan Ray McDonough. Congratulations, 
It's off. <laughs> Sarah Kathleen Munir. Thank you. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Joseph Michael Morowski. Samara Joanne Nelson. Ian Newman. Yeah. Ryan Jeffrey Olmstead. Jasmine Ostrowski. So Luke D. Parsons. Yared. <laughs> Zachary L. Pelk. Scott J. Pelis. Tyler Picking. Glad to pay my dues. <laughs> Elizabeth Faith Portier. William Joseph Prunier. David Quintana. Jenna Bailey Rawlings. Julia Maeve Reardon. Mitchell Rowley. Jaina May Rubin. Thanks. Riley Rowan Sampson. Thank you. 
Samuel James Schechterly. Jillian Marie Salinas. <laughs> Riley Jane Zoller Shop. <laughs> Melissa Emily Shaw. Harmonda Singh. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie Sisson. Madeline Smirowski. Christopher Spencer. De Wolf Speth. Thanks, Thanks Hotel. Patrick O'Malley Thompson. Tenzin Satan. Michelle Lynn Vassar. Keaton R. Warren. Olivia Kevin Bean Warren. Mukajit Alperin Yildiz. Hey, bring it up, bring it up. Yes, <laughs> but yesterday. Okay, graduates, move your tassel to the other side. Congratulations, it is now time to celebrate.